Well indeed, that does say rape seed oil. And uh, if you ever see fields of bright yellow flowers, a lot of the time they're going to be um, rape flowers. <laughs> anyway, uh, some of you will know it better as canola. But here it's rapeseed. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Anyway, but that was just a bit of a, a PS actually. Okay, so um, lunch is over, and it, look, listen, it's a pub lunch, right? I mean, you know, there's in, in West London and Fulham, there's a there's a pub that has um, a one Michelin star, but for the most part, you don't go to to pubs for the quality of the food. It's more for the atmosphere, and that pub there, the Eagle, has a certain atmosphere. There's been a pub on that spot for something like 650 years. Um, so the, uh, it's not a modern building. The ceilings are maybe a little lower and all the rest of it. But there's character to it. Lots of um, pictures on the walls. And Do you agree with that? I love that pub. I think it was a great... Um, there was Peter rec Peter's recommendation and I think not to miss. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so even, even if it was just a, a regular old pub, you know, if you like that sort of character, you might enjoy it. But don't go for the quality of the food. I mean, it's not the worst, but it, it's not the best. It's what it is. Now, it's just down there. That's the Eagle, just down there. King's College is over there, actually. Um, sort of just over there a little bit. And we're now, this building, well, that building down there, to be precise, um, was the Cavendish Lavatory. <laughs> lavatory. I said lavatory. <laughs> Laboratory. <laughs> Where Watson and Crick... Um, studied and of course the pub is you know 100 yards away which is why they used to have lunch there six days a week and this is why they went into there and said those seven Im immortal words we have discovered the secret of life how about that but also you know that's the cavendish laboratory there and this one here is like same building here in 1897 at the old cavendish laboratory jj thompson discovered the electron subsequently recognized as the first fundamental particle of physics and the basis of chemical bonding electronics and computing how about that right and uh, how many of you have heard of jj thompson some of you a few more of you have probably heard of watson and crick probably a lot more of you have heard of harry potter and james bond and mr bean but there you go but yeah this is significant stuff isn't it and Cambridge is, is, of course, better known for the sciences and then, say, Oxford. Oxford is literature. Um, I mean, as a general thing, I mean, there's obviously more to it than that. But anyway, so, um, yeah, another great day. We've got all our luggage with us, actually. Ay, ay, ay.